Time for a story about something that baffled, bothered, and bewildered me. It happened at a fair. A man who did magic was there. He had a red handkerchief, just a red handkerchief, and a left hand, and a right hand. That's all he had. A left hand, a right hand, and a red handkerchief. So I was shocked, I was stunned, I was amazed. When he took the red handkerchief, tucked it into his fist, gave it a squeeze, <laughs> not just a squeeze, it was a squeeze, and he squeezed it so hard it began to turn white right before my eyes. I couldn't believe it. I watched him. I saw less red. I saw more white. In fact, soon I realized completely the handkerchief had become white right before my eyes. Now, when that happened, I clapped my hands and cheered. <laughs> Be nice if you would, too. No, actually, I, I know what's happening now. Uh, you see, after I clapped my hands and cheered, I began to ponder, how did he do this? How did he make the red handkerchief turn white? And I might as well tell you, I finally figured it out. That's right. I realized the secret to the color-changing hanky was that magician was using two handkerchiefs. Who would have thought of that? Here's what I think he did. Before the program began, he took handkerchief number one, in this case the red one, and he tucked it down into his hand. Watch carefully now. He was very, very careful to tuck it into his hand, and of course, it, once it was in his hand, he was also very careful to keep that hand closed so no one would know the red handkerchief was there. He kept the hand closed tightly. If he opened it, well, of course, everyone would have known a red handkerchief is hidden in this hand, and he didn't want them to know a red handkerchief was hidden here, so he kept it closed so they wouldn't see it. I hope that makes sense to you. Then he would take the other handkerchief, the white one. For the show, he would tuck it into his hand and switch the white one for the red just like that. That's how he did the trick. <laughs> well, I said to myself, I can do that too. So I tried. I pushed the white in and I pulled the red out. I pushed the white in and I pulled the red out. I pushed the white in, I pulled... Well, actually, I made this big mistake. I pulled the red one out too far. And there I stood in front of the audience and I said, I think I've just given them a clue that I'm using too. What do you say? It's a clue. Well, you shouldn't give your audience a clue, so here's what you do. If you make this mistake, take the red handkerchief, fold it up, put it away. Very important. Put it away in your pocket. Because if you put it away and everyone knows the red one is in your pocket, then if you push the white one into your hand, give it a squeeze and it turns red. <laughs> Since they know this red one's actually in your pocket, I suspect they'll be as baffled, bothered, bewildered as I was the first time I ever saw this done. And folks, this is the secret to the color-changing handkerchief. I hope you don't mind that I took time to share it with you. That's it.